Yo guys, and welcome back to another adventure roulette, which basically boils down to me hitting random and seeing whatever weird stuff the game throws at me. So friends, let's go ahead and see what is our number one adventure of the day. Valley of the- no, no, I'm not- no, no. Stop it with the Valley of the Dragons. I've played this too much. Okay, next one. Machine race. Oh, that's that's not going to end well, is it? The Hurtig Racer. Right, something tells me it's going to be by Hurtig Good once again. Great. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let us see then what the what the racer one comes down to. Let's let's race in the snowy lands. Yes, let's. Boy oh boy, gotta love racing adventures. They're either pretty damn good or really terrible. Usually quite terrible. Let's ride. And we're already off. Great. That is a that's a 10 out of 10 jump pad right there. Can I sprint? Yes, I can. Turbo boost. Let's go. Now, I I have to admit, you know, well, it's a bit as you know, it's, it's a tad slow. Of course, to actually play as creatures, so it can only go so fast, as fast as the game allows. I do actually like the design of the creation itself. Like, you gotta appreciate that. It's a bit, you know, fidgety. It's kind of a little bit jagged, but I do like the creation itself. That is really really cool. Right, so, go on that jump pad. Oh god, where am I... Where am I meant to go? Am I even going the right way? I'm falling. Great. Well... Hold on, where are they going? They're falling as well. Great. Am I even going the right way? I, I guess I am. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of a, a bit crap. You can't really see where you're meant to go. But hey, speed boost, yeah! Alright, winning! I think. I really am just loving the animation though. That is so wonderful and realistic. Look at that jittery, that jitteriness. Actually, what's down there? Oh, okay, you can see the little feet there. Nice. Hey guys, I figured out a way to see where I'm meant to go next. Right, let me just grab that, <laughs> that, that strafing. Nice. Let's just grab that then. Okay, good. Grab that. Now, if I just zoom all the way out, I can quite, you know, I can see the path I'm meant to go quite nicely. Am I honestly driving like the entire planet? Yeah, like I said a moment ago, these uh, these racing adventures are normally surprisingly good or absolute trash. Now I'm not calling it trash. Oh, I'm stuck. Can you can you please? Okay, good. Now I'm not calling it trash, right? Definitely, absolutely not. But it's a bit slow. It's a bit boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's one of the earlier ones. Like, the only redeeming fact right now is that the vehicle itself looks really, really cool. Right, according to the adventure progress, I'm a quarter of the way there. Yay. Oh, that's a oh, epic looking portal. Oh, oh god, okay, what the hell? Uh, did, did I win? I think I won. I got seven seconds to do something. No, it actually looks pretty good when you, like, back up. Now, that's more realistic. And... Yeah, 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 I finished. Okay, I take it back. It wasn't that terrible. Wow. <laughs> oh god, that is such a disturbing animation. And the bloody like, the growling. Nice vegan growling. Okay. Good racing. Thanks. Oh, how did I throw the leaderboard? I actually did pretty decently. <laughs> Maybe I should like proper try hide it one day. Right, cool, thanks. Okay, yeah, I'll upload that one. Why not? Okay. Next adventure of the day is Ice Race. That's one of my ones. Okay, I don't mind playing this one. Now, I actually remember back when I was making adventures while still new to the game, I really loved making these races. I did not test it. I was terrible when it came to testing and captain proofing things. But I enjoyed my races. I actually really liked making these. These are a lot of fun. This actually makes me a little bit nostalgic. And there is the wonderful Ice Dragon, which I'm sure many of you have probably seen before. Race across the track in this ice age, but be get that typo. Come on, younger me. But be careful, stay still for too long and you can be frozen. I remind you, I do not make shortcuts in these. Oh, oh, younger me is really making it strict here, aren't I? Actually, I just realized the chances of that, we've got two races in a row. Interesting. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, when it came to my races, there weren't like any contestants. The opponents were the leaderboard. So in other words, just run as quick as you can in this in this epic landscape that is so wondrously well done like my, my god guys can't you tell i was so good at making adventures i was the best at making adventures like this is truly 
some 10 out of 10 top tier quality. I don't even know where I'm meant to be going. Am I going this way? Or was I meant to go through the crystals? It feels like this is a path. Oh, wait, is it still? Yeah, okay, yeah, I can tell. This is definitely a pathway. Oh god, yeah. This is... Hurtigan's wasn't bad, but this one's bad. <laughs> I, I was feeling nostalgic. Now I'm just feeling depressed. <laughs> Alright, keep going, keep going. Let's see if I get the high school. Let's see if I have the high school all these years later. Probably not, to be honest. Can I just, like, climb over that wall? Probably a bad idea if I tried. All right, keep go. Oh, okay, great. Got we got all this to run through over as well. Now, actually, can I just like do that again? Yeah, I can. Great. So I probably could have just jumped over that cliff over the head, and I probably should have. That might have made it a lot quicker. Let's get a bit narrow here. Can I not squeeze through? Look, look. Yes, almost there. I can tell. Almost there. Little pitter patter. What the? Why is that the finish point? What the hell? Of all things, why is that a finish point? I've got, mate. There's one thing I learned in a previous adventure roulette. It is, I am terrible at adventures. Well done, you finished it. Check the scoreboard to see how well you did. I shall, younger... 16 points? Someone failed that. How? I did terribly. Someone did it in 47... Wow, flower fox and, and flu bits. You guys are beasts. Right then. Well, that was riveting and engaging gameplay. Nabiro's True Town. Finally, one that actually sounds somewhat interesting. Alright, let's grab you then, and hopefully we get something good. Welcome to Nabiru's Town. This is not an adventure, this is a look around adventure, and I hope you like the map. If you go out of the dojo, you can go up the stairs, and please, you, and please, you follow the sign at the mountain's bottom. Right, so another explorey thing about D D Dora. Yes, that one. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Ooh, what do those mean? <laughs> Welcome to the dojo. Have a look around and get started using this template for your own adventures. Oh, oh, wow. I already have a feeling I know who this is by. But this looks really nice. It's got a couple of little samurai phonics. I'm not sure how I'm meant to pronounce that. Oh, God, they're a bit noisy, aren't they? Mate, bless you. Okay, that's a really cool looking statue there. Right, so it did say this was a, just like, like a, a simple little explore kind of adventure. So we get to check out the scenery and get stuck in the stairs. Sweet. Does it have, like, mate, this is the thing I always look for. Does it have an Easter egg where I can go inside the buildings? Probably not this one, because I look a little bit too big for it. But you never know. You never know. Can I go inside there? No. Okay, rip. There's some pretty flowers there. Come, mate, let's go. Let's go, Solar Flare. Got a couple more samurais and they... Another regular Phoenix there. Go up to the village over here. Can I, like, get up, please? Mate, mate. Okay, never mind. And I just jumped up anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. I like the dramatic change in, um, in, oh, what's the word? Weather. And I love that. I absolutely love that. That's such a cool little statue there. That's so cool. With the flame on one hand and a gem on the other. It looks so happy. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, I saw I could chat with something there. Uh, maybe I've just been seeing things. No, okay, I may have just been seeing things. Now, is there something about going to a dojo? Maybe the dojo's got interior? We'll check that out and then probably move on to the next one. Oh, wow, yeah, that dojo looks pretty cool from up there, doesn't it? Right, fortunately, I can fly. Thank goodness for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just flap my way over and make my way up here. Now, I really like the way that looks. Can I go inside? Oh, I can. Ah, nice. I recognize this. Okay, maybe I recognize this. This isn't by um, who I thought it was. I thought it was by a creator called Sienna. Very old friend of mine. No, I think this may might be by um, Endeavor. Which I think many people will probably recognize that name. Uh, sadly, I can't seem to fit through. Oh, wait. Did I just? Nope, I mean, oh, wait. Okay, I kind of fit through somehow. And them to a sparring. That looks really cool. And... Wait, what are you called? You're the master. Right. Well, that's really cool then. I think we've probably seen about enough of, uh, enough of it so far. But that's really cool. I do like that. What's that called again? Nabiru's True Town. Right, yeah. Let's see what I was done by then. 
That was by that was by Clarek. But I could have sworn and never had a town fall, but interesting. Well, guys, it, it goes to show that my memory really is just that terrible. But yeah, okay, so that's actually by Clarek. That's really cool then. So a Clarek, I think, in terms of the roulette, you know, after the game officially calmed me in return, I think it's now you know decided to choose one of your better ones. You know, it's got it's got your back, man. My game really likes Clarek, apparently. <laughs> right then. Final adventure, hopefully a decent one. That looks foreign. Great. Next one. Trooper and the Barren Planet. Now, you know- what the heck? What? Okay then. I was gonna say, you know it's a good adventure, but I just even have a profile picture. But, um, that was an interesting looking creature. Trooper and Hive Hat Part 3. After escaping from the Im Imperipal as it was destroyed by the giants, Trooper and Hive Hat end up on a dead planet that simply has no life on it. Can they get back home? Well, I do generally have a thing against playing, um, against playing multi-parters in the roulette because, you know, it kind of requires context. But essentially, after escaping from the Parapel, as it was destroyed by the giant, I guess it's pro probably the context that we need. So we'll just go ahead and, I mean, we're already loading in. It's, I, really, I really want to see what a Trooper is. <laughs> so let's see what this one's about. Oh my god, that's such a beautiful, terrible looking creature. They're cellar creatures. Why would you make an adventure with cellar creatures? As the teleporter beam dissipates, Trooper and Hive Hat find themselves on a new world. The air is dead and there's no plantation to be found anywhere. Can Trooper and Hive Hat get back home? I'm kind of liking this actually. I'm kind of liking the little theme here. Trooper and Hive Hat have arrived on a dead planet that simply has no... Wait! There's actually a creature here! But how? Go chat with it! We must chat to Kook. That is its name, Kook. And it has a little adorable hopping thing. Excuse us, but where are we? Oh, we're on the barren planet. As you can see, no vegetation or atmosphere here, but for some reason we can still breathe here. Ah, you must be new here. Follow me, I'll show you the way to our base. What? <laughs> hmm, so she, so, so she knows this place, huh? We just have to trust her to get out of here and get into civiliz civilization. <laughs> Let's keep up with her to get to this base. We must talk to Bruno and Flurgel. Oh my god, these names. I love it. I absolutely love these names. And I, I'm actually like, I don't know, something really adorable and, I don't know, whimsical. No, uh, it's not quite a word of my, I can't think of a word. It's very charming about this. I was expecting something like, you know, really dystopian and dramatic like a lot of them are. But this has got like a really adorable silly charm. Right, what does this say then? The Centre for Lost Creatures, found by, founded by Bruno, Flurgle and Kook. I like how Kook just happened to be there, you know, just chilling. Just waiting for us to appear apparently. This doesn't seem to work, let's get, let's work it out another way. Those are a bunch of crocuses playing whatever game that is. Go away, we're busy. Looks like they are holding an important meeting and that they are having an intense argument. Looks like they are arguing about some sort of map. It looked unfinished, better not touch it. Oh god. An expedition, eh? Sounds interesting, count me in. Oh god. Did you know that there's a real monolith in this very planet? If we find it, we'll evolve just like the creatures in these ancient card games. What card game? What does it mean? Ah, forget it. It's been out of fashion for thousands of years. Just to cut it short, so you will get new attributes whenever you evolve by touching the monolith. Like, what? Go away, I have no interest in your expedition. Ah, a, a, a yell giant. What did you say? Are you one of those racist people that think they are better than everyone? Well, that, okay, that escalated quickly. No, it's just that now he's ignoring me. How rude. But I think that's a lesson for me. Never associate with people... Wait, never associate people with giant evolved version of themselves? What? Okay, that, that escalated in a very, very strange one. Let's move on then, shall we? So we need to talk to Bruno and then Flogel. Mate, that got weird. That is weird. It looks like a giant pear. Well, well, welcome to the Centre for Lost Creatures. My name is Bruno and I'm the leader of this place. Could you please tell me your names? Trooper and Hive had to introduce themselves and explain their situation. So you want to get out of here, huh? We can do that with this teleporter I'm standing in. But unfortunately it's currently broken, so we can't send you in there right now. That's terrible! How do we get home now? Well, as a matter of fact, our leading mechanic, Flurgel, tells us that the teleporter can be repaired. You just need some help. You should try and talk to him. 
how do these guys have the sentience or, or even the technology to make a teleporter? Look at them! Hello there, my name is Vlago and I'm the leading mechanic here. You must be our newcomers, Truva and Hypads, right? Yes, you're right. Okay, now to the problem. You see, as Bruno there told you, the teleporter is currently broken, but it can be repaired. But it can be repaired. I just need some spare parts to put in there. So you want to help out, huh? Great! To forge the spare parts, we need minerals and other materials that can be found in nearby sites. However, this is unsafe land, so you need, to be, so you need more men to be safe. You should try and ask some of our people to join you in your quest. Oh great. Socialising. Well, that teleporter's fixed, I'm out of it. Right, so we know that the long neck will just need the, gi the giraffe let <laughs> I love it. We know the giraffe let wants to join us. Okay, let's sing then. So yeah, we need more men, or you need more men to begin the expedition for minerals. Try out some of the locals to join you. They are willing, impress them so that they can join your posse. Right, I think it's safe to say that any of the ones that have a... Oh, actually, no? Never mind that. How about you, friend? An expedition, an expedition to find parts of the teleporter? I can help you. The monolith is a super rare object. If we can find it and sell it, we'll be filthy rich and swimming in spore bucks. What the hell is his What the hell is face? Oh my god. However, there's also some rumours about something called the Hallows of Life that's even more precious than the monolith. I just don't know what that is. Well, will we? Will you invite me to your party? Sure, mate. Let's go to a dungeon. Can you be my healer? Oh, uh, can you like... Dance. Oi, sing to me. Sing to me, friends. There we go. Oh, that was a little bit. Mate, again, a little bit closer. That's kind of disturbing. Okay, then. Moving on. I feel violated after that. A white dwarf. An expedition to find spare parts to the teleporter? Count me in. If you find a monolith along the way, we'll become very smart and learn how to make fire. Wait, 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 wait. You can't make fire, but you're making a freaking teleporter. What? And you can also breathe in this planet that has no atmosphere. Okay, this this plot is 10 out of 10. If you're curious, no, I don't know how to make fires. Not surprising. Come, come on, mate, mate, friends. Come on. There we go. Sing, sing, sing to me. There we go. Jesus Christ. Wait, I'm not even adding. Oh, God, I'm not even adding them to my group. How to befriend them and then I forgot how this works. There we go. We finally have allies. And now that you're all set, start locating the required parts from your map. Make sure that Cook and Hypat are with you when you go. Cook and Hypat? Wait. Did I? Wait, where's Cook? Where's Hypat? Oh, I see what it means now. I'm being silly. Right. Collect 45 swords? What the hell? Oh, look at this, man. I like a proper little dungeon party. I like it, but where's... Okay, well, Cook is already gone. Rip. <laughs> Let's go find these swords. Of destiny. And fate and monolithic pro what okay come on why is there just random swords you know what i really should just stop questioning this adventure because this is just so wonderfully strange i actually like it it's just really really strange hmm i wonder what happens when i follow this this randomly placed trailer of swords that for some reason will help me out in terms of building a freaking teleport and we kind of make fire this isn't con conspicuous at all, is it? Nah, nah, we'll be safe, we'll be fine. How long is the bloody trail lasting for? Jesus, come on. Oh my god, what the hell? That galaxy, what the hell's happening to the sky? Okay, the sky is just flying. Or at least it was for a moment there. Jesus, that galaxy, man, was just off ski. Right, so the trail of swords leads us directly to the monolith. That's not concerning at all, and does not pose for any questions whatsoever. No, that's completely safe and fine. Oh my god, finally, that was a long ass trail. I wish I at least had sprint. Right. And we're still not done. Great. Um, I take it I have to go touch the monolith or something. Can I like, can I, can I make it up there, please? Please. Are they going to be able to follow me up there? I really hope so, because it says they have to follow me. In fact, where even are half of them? Uh, I think they've all, like, vanished. Okay, well... The hell that sound? Monolith. What do you say? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> is that the legendary monolith? The only way to find out is to touch it. Okay. When your group touched the monolith, they all evolved one step closer to sentience. Go with the newly evolved hive hat. 
Oh, they've changed. Okay, that's really cool. They've actually all evolved slightly. And they left my group, the assholes. Hello, Trooper. I just evolved into a Hive Raider. Isn't that cool? We found the real monolith. Yeah, it is. But when do I evolve? I also want new parts to myself. Sometimes it takes longer to evolve than usual. Maybe you'll evolve when you get home. Well, that's all right. Let's bring his parts back to Flurgle and get the teleporter fixed. Do I have to? Do I really have to run all the way? Ah. Return to the center for the lost creatures and hand off the parts to Flurgle. He can now repair the teleporter so that you can get back home. Are they following me? Oh, thank God they are. Jesus. I was dreading having to befriend them again. Do I have to run all the way back? It took so long to get here. Uh, actually, how far is it? Because I can zoom out. Aha! Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's pretty far away, man. That's uh, And I just fell in a ditch. Great. Thanks. This reminds me of that one time that another YouTuber called Every Night's Riot tried to play one of my adventures. It was a mega build one, so it was purely just for the profile picture to be uploaded into Sportpedia. Yeah, that way I can show off and link the video and all that kind of stuff. Whereas the adventure itself had absolutely nothing in there. This reminds me of watching him play that adventure and just running around aimlessly not knowing what to do. And I felt so utterly terrible for him. I felt really, really guilty. Well, this is karma. <laughs> now I'm stuck to just running for eternity as well. Riot! If you ever happen to be watching this, man, I am so sorry. Oh my goodness, finally! <laughs> what kind of sadist would make someone run like halfway across a planet with nothing but like a, a cell stage evolved creature? Why would anyone do this? I feel like this is just, to, you know, just people getting back at me for the crappy adventures I made. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I like the setting, I like the theme and everything, but my god, the running. At long last, Flurgle, my friend, give me the good news, man. Get me out of this place. Oh, dear. Swords, I thought you would find something else. Well, we can forge the needed parts from those as well. By the way, what took you so long? Mate, sh shut the hell up. We found the monolith. Now we can evolve as much as we please. Well, 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 <laughs> well, you really did that? <laughs> well, I'll ask more questions later. First, we need to fix this teleporter. Well, Jesus Christ. The Flagor takes the swords from you. How did we carry them in the first place? Flagor takes the swords from you, throws them into the furnace, and forges them into the new parts the teleporter needs. After a few hours of repairing, but how though? He has too many hands. Alright, all that is as good as new. You can go home now, Bruno. Would you be so kind as to step down off that teleporter? Oh. <laughs> okay, nice music there. Step on the teleporter to get back to your home planet. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that adventure dragged it on so long. I, I liked, I really, really liked like, the, the overall theme and concept. It was really cute. It's a definitely a nice, cute way to end up the um, episode, but my God, it took so long. And so, true, but Hive had to go, got home from the Baron Planet. What will happen to our heroes next? To be continued. I actually want to play it more, to be honest. I really liked it. He made this one then. Was it Liscometo? If it's got the highest, uh, oh God, right, actually. Liskamato, a police officer, Metal Blaze, the dragon. This is definitely like one of the ones that, uh, yeah, Liskamato. Yes, this is a G GAC approved adventure, more than likely, or at least those guys are speed running it. <laughs> but yes, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Hope you had a good laugh, hope you had fun, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.